Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be Tutorial 2 in the Expression 2 series, where I go over Boolean Algebra and Data Types. So let's start by getting Expression 2 chip pasted, and we'll get rid of all this. And let's start by defining, well we don't need any of these, we'll define a uh, A and some B, and we'll even do a C, how about that? And then we'll output that D again. It's all about the D, I know. Perps. Alright, so, let's get a text screen going. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get a regular screen going. I have a bad habit of that. Alright, and let's get three buttons. One, two, actually we'll make them, we'll name them uh, one, two, and three. That's going to be A, B, and C respectively, but there's no A, B, and C. So we're going to wire that up really quick. We're going to do 8A, B to B, and C to C, and all that D to D, and there we go. There we go. Now back to expression 2 chip. Now let's do some basic Boolean algebra. Now we got that set up. And what we're going to be going over is actually four different types of symbols. So we're going to have the ampersand, which is usually an AND symbol, which is to say D is equal to A and B. And that's to say when button A and button B are being pressed together, D is going to output a 1. In Boolean algebra, we have zeros and 1. 0 usually represents a false, whereas 1 would represent a true. Uh, so it's a lot like logic. But anyway, when I press button A and button B, and they're both equal to 1, then D is equal to 1. When one of them is equal to 0, D will be 0. When both are equal to 0, D will be 0. And that also applies to that C right there. All three now must be pressed and equal to 1 for that D to equal 1. Alright, got it. Now we also have, instead of the AND function, we have an OR function, which is represented like this. And that's to say when A or B or C are, is 1, D will be 1. Or all of them are 1, or two of them are 1, it doesn't matter. As long as one of them is 1, then D is going to be 1. Alright. And then we have a fun function called the NOT function. Well, that's to say that we're going to, D is going to be equal to A, so that's saying um, when A is 0, D is equal to 0, and A is 1, D is equal to 1. And when we put a NOT function, though, in front of that, when A is 0, D is 1. And when A is 1, D is 0. So, now you kind of get what's going on. Now, how about how about this little operator right here? This tilde operator. Well, that's really cool. That's to say, whenever there is a change in the variable, then do something. But we're not in the if statements just yet, but I'm going to spoil you guys anyway and start you off with an if statement saying whenever there's a change in A, we're going to set D equal 1. Or actually, now we're going to do 10. How about that? See, A changed, it switched from 0 to 1, or 1 to 0, and D became 10. And that's going to give you a little um, head start on if statements for the next video. Now, I want you to notice all these variables up here. They're actually a defined data type. And a data type is something such as a number, an entity, a vector, and uh, so on. There's a bunch of things like angles and other things we can go into. Um, data types are usually defined, or by standard, they are going to be a type of a number, which means like A is equal to 10. That's a data type number. If I put a data type vector, for example, I would have to say that A, which is a vector, well, we'll put, we define vector up here, I'm sorry. And we put vector of some kind, and now we can say A is equal to vector. Now the data type can also be entity, be angle, um, it can be string, and so on. But throughout the series, we're going to be going into um, these in more detail, so you're not lost and confused. This is just to give you an idea what's going on. By default, it's number, and that's all you have to really know right now. So, um, just to let you know, you can't actually mismatch data types really quick. Let's say this is a type vector. You can't say that A equals B, because A is a number and B is a vector. We don't like that. See, so it results in error. So, other than that, that's going to cover the basics. I'm going to be going into the if statement next, which is this. And um, 
else and else if, of course. So, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time.